All right, this is my new uh, ignition system, and uh, I'll be showing how it's built. I've got the power supply uh, circuit right here, controls everything. I got 24 volts right here, two 12 volt batteries in series. And uh, right now you can see I got the voltmeter set to DC, and uh, it's reading off the energy off the capacitor right there. So 600 mic at um, uh, was it 200 volts? Pretty sure yeah, 200 volts. And uh, that's uh, a six or uh, is it 7,000 volt? I tested it out uh, coil, and uh, I got uh, it's a six amp diode. It protects the the IGBT right here. That's my uh, uh, replacement for the relay. And uh, there's a four-way bridge diode for converting AC to DC. And uh, there's my uh, transformers. I got them set up together. They're two individual transformers uh, to increase energy. Um, puts out a um, this exact much volts right here, 150, but it's at 153. I have a pot control right there to get the pulse width adjusted just right. So I got two 12,000 volt diodes right here connected to the positive section of the spark coil ignition coil and it's got connected from right here to here to the positive to the hot positive and uh, um, here's my switch and, uh, there's my uh, 24 volts in DC and There's the spark plug. I took the diode, I mean uh, the resistor out because there's a resistor and I had to cut off the resistor. Uh, right now I'm going to show how it works right now. Okay. Yeah. And it takes a little bit to charge back up to 150. It has to go exactly 150, otherwise it won't work. I could take two capacitors, put them in parallel, and double the capacity, capacitance, and then it'll uh, up the current, get a little bit more uh, spark, a little bit more of a hot spark. But I'll test that out later.